All right, so what's going on, everybody? The Iceman here on this Saturday afternoon. A um, couple things to talk about. First off, um, WWE is talking about um, having a new United States belt made. And could it be a spinner belt by John Cena? One has to wonder. Uh, with John Cena, with his new uh, championship shirt, and with the belt uh, being redone, uh, I think the WWE has plans to have John Cena hold on to this U.S. title for at least a little bit longer than they let him hold on to the WWE World Heavyweight title. And, um, you know, this is, you know, it's, it's an open challenge to everybody. It's not just to the heels. It is also as well to the faces. Um, a lot of people are already complaining that he'll bury all the younger talent. Well, maybe it'll be a lot of the talent that's been around that goes after John Cena for this belt. Maybe it won't just be the younger talent. Uh, we'll just have to wait and uh, see what happens there. So, uh, And, of course, as everybody already knows, uh, we already talked about AJ Lee leaving. Um, is it a big void in the WWE? Well, he was, she wasn't really around a heck of a lot lately. Um, I think we all knew what was going to happen. So, all right. The the main topic of this video, um, this is April 4th, 2015. I originally was planning on uh, taking off from YouTube at the end of this year. And, you know, a lot of people basically talked me out of it. But now lately, it just seems like um, after the last couple weeks, uh, people voice their opinions on certain videos and whatnot, and there's just been a lot, a, a lot of hate going on, uh, a lot of bad remarks, um, you know, getting to the point where you say to yourself, is it really worth it? I think being here on YouTube, and I, I feel that everybody has a right to talk, subscribe, or comment to anybody else here on YouTube without really having to worry about the fact that somebody else is going to get upset with them and harass them, put hate on them, troll them, and whatnot. And this is, this situation that's been going on, you know, after the last couple of weeks with, you know, certain videos that were done, uh, not just by me, but others, um, this situation seems worse than the situation in 2009. And um, the bottom line is, if you like watching certain YouTubers and commenting on them, really nobody has the right to give you hate for doing so. Um, if they don't like it, fine. You know, and, and if they don't like you or anybody else here on YouTube, why go to this person's channel? And why make a comment? Because if you're only there just to troll and put hate on people, you know, it's to me, it's just totally senseless. And, you know, it just seems like lately that's, you know, a lot of people are doing that. And, you know, and it, it's getting to the point in time where, you know, life is more important than um, getting the, the aggravation here on YouTube, getting stupid comments and whatnot. I, you know, I watch a lot of people's videos and I see a lot of hate they get. Uh, I get hate on my channels as well. Um, some people get hate just constantly all the time because of who they are, because they are a bigger channel. Um, and it's just, to me, it's pointless. I mean, or you can get uh, put up a video and in a half hour have... 30 thumbs down. The only positive side of that is you've got 30 views, you know, but it's, to me, it's just pointless. Why, why view a video and not really watch it and just thumb it down just for the sake of thumbing it down? Because all people have to do is just deactivate their thumbs up and thumbs down, you know, if it really bothers them. To me, it's just, it's trolling. And there's been a lot of it lately. Seems like more so in the last couple of weeks. And it gets to the point where you know, it's not worth being aggravated over. It's not worth getting stressed out over. Um, 
you know, I had people tell me that there was comments coming from my channels that they knew that wasn't me. And they, they, they just wrote me right out and said, hey, Jeff, I think you got hacked. And I probably did. And because um, it's not the first time, I'm certainly sure it won't be the last. But, you know, this kind of aggravation after a while, you know, it does get to you. I mean, you say you want to say, screw you. Why bother? You're trying to make a wrestling video to entertain people and to inform people. And, uh, you know, this is what this whole YWC, IWC thing, this is how it all began and, and what it was supposed to be all about was to make wrestling videos, voice your opinion. Um, and like I said, an opinion's only an opinion. It doesn't make you right. It doesn't make you wrong. Um, everybody has a right to their own opinion. But to just uh, deliberately go to a channel and just say really some messed up things and, you know, just to harass YouTubers, it's just totally ridiculous in my eyes. And um, it's gotten to the point, I was talking with my nephew uh, earlier today, and like I said to him, I said, you know, maybe maybe at the end of this month, I'm just going to say see ya. And, uh, you know, and, and it, because I got a lot more important things I need to worry about at this point in time. And I don't need the stress and I don't definitely don't need the aggravation. I mean, you know, it just life is an aggravation in itself for most of the time, because you always worry about where your next payment's going to come from to pay a bill or, or anything like this. I mean, you're, you're always worried. Um, so yeah, so I just, you know, wanted to throw that out there. I mean, you know, I've always said, why can't we all just get along? Obviously, because people people don't want to. They don't want to get along. They just want to aggravate. They want to harass. And, and, and most of the time, it's people that have no icons on their profile picture because obviously they're just there. And if you do go to, go to your channel, you'll notice I only have like maybe one or two subs or maybe none at all. And it's just a channel there just to harass everybody else. You know, the funny part about it is Google is so huge. Um, obviously, they just don't care because uh, you can block people and they get around the blocking and, and they just continue to do it anyway. So, I mean, you would think Google being as big as they are, you know, would like to keep Google and YouTube running. But it gets to the point where, you know, when things happen on Facebook, they try to fix it, you know, and it just seems like here on Google and YouTube, Google just doesn't care. And, you know, the less they care, the easier it is for the haters and the trolls to go and harass people that don't need to be harassed. And, you know, the bottom line is, if I want to be friends with this guy over here, then I will. And if he wants to be friends with another guy that I may not personally, you know, subscribe to or watch his videos, I have no problem with that. And I don't think anybody should have a problem with who subscribes to who and who listens to who and who watches who. It's, it's all what it's all about. So I just wanted to put that out there. Uh, it's getting to the point now where it's, it's, it's starting not to be fun anymore. And uh, when it starts not to be fun... Maybe it's time to, uh, you know, think about it and do something about it. So anyway, you guys enjoy your Saturday. Um, let's go Wisconsin tonight in the NCAA men's tournament. And I'm hoping that Michigan State takes down Duke. And we'll see a Wisconsin and Michigan State NCAA tur tournament final on Monday. Now. As far as the Frozen Choice Awards go, because of all the hate that's been going on, um, I may cancel them because just for the simple fact is I would feel uncomfortable, you know, uh, saying the winners of a, a, a few of the certain categories. So I haven't decided yet. But anyway, everybody enjoy your Saturday. Peace out. God bless everybody. And please be safe. And one thing for sure, I hope everybody has a happy Easter tomorrow. See you all next time.